52nd minute of this game it's going to be Bruno to take this one and he scores he scored in the first leg and has now scored in the second leg on set pieces this guy is ridiculously good he scored hey guys how's it going it is s2g and welcome to season one episode number 13 of the Villarreal career mode series in today's episode we have some really big games including games against Atletico Madrid in the league and of course Real Madrid in the Copa del Rey if you guys are enjoying this series drop a like on the video follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel I've just hit 200 followers on Twitter if you guys can drop a follow that'll be awesome and make sure to subscribe if you are new around here as you can see the league table things are going really well for us second in the league that is just amazing in La Liga with teams like Barcelona Atletico Madrid Atletico not doing that well but still we'll be facing them as you can see right there and we have a lot of games in today's episode we are going to cover all these games in today's episode I'm looking to sim a few of these games it may be the ones against Bruges in the Europa League and maybe the, that game against Malaga as well but we will be playing this game against Athletic Bilbao because they are in seventh position in the league and have a really good side plus it's an away game so it could be a tricky one this is the team I'm going with I'm resting a lot of players for that game against Real Madrid in the Copa del Rey the first leg is at home but we won't talk much about that game for now we'll concentrate on this game against Bilbao Jaime Costa on the ball into Kovalenko early chance here for his Bakambu back to Kovalenko Kovalenko with the shot but Idai Zos makes a decent save. A really good start to this game for us. Three minutes in, we have already had a great opportunity to score. Ibai Gomez now on the ball. Ninth minute of this game. He tries to cross the ball in, but a deflection from Zuma leads the ball going into Arturiz. And then he just passes it on to Eraso, who takes the shot. But Asenho makes a decent save. Another chance here for Athletic Bilbao. Now in the second half of this game. Brilliant football there. Arturiz turns his defender. And what a strike that was from Aritz Arturiz. One of the best strikers Spain have right now. A fantastic goal from him. He's been so good for Bilbao in the last season in real life and now he scored a fantastic goal against us. But now this could be our chance to get back in this game. Pinian to Bakambu. Bakambu with the shot. A deflection from the defender. Leads the ball going into San Jose and then he just manages to clear it. Irasso now on the ball. Looks like we aren't going to win this game. And Athletic Bilbao looks like they will be scoring another. But Asenho makes a fantastic save. And that's how the game ends. I was very disappointed with the way we played in this one. Bilbao had more chances. We had an early chance to score, but we couldn't take it. Our second team, I'm not sure if it's good enough to play against teams like Bilbao. I really had to rest my second, you know, first team for that big game against Real Madrid. I hope it's worth it and we get a good result against Madrid. For now, guys, it's time for some training. As you can see, Marina and Kovalenko starts to increase. Denis Suarez's vision and long passing increase as well, which is really nice to see. We'll be playing this game against Real Madrid now. Of course, it's going to be a big game and it's going to be a very tough one. Of course, we're going to be playing against Cristiano Ronaldo. This is the team I'm going with. Very strong indeed, but the fullbacks are, you know, the weak links because I did play my first choice fullbacks for that game against Bilbao because I needed some big plays for this one. And as you can see straight away, we, are, we lack pace to defend against this Madrid side. Borja Mayorel had the first chance to score. Surprisingly, he is playing ahead of Benzema. I'm pretty sure Benzema is still at Real Madrid, but now we have a great chance to score. Trigueros into Cedric Bakambu, finds space, shoots and scores. What a fantastic goal from Cedric Bakambu in the 35th minute of this game to give us the lead in this Copa del Rey semi-finals tie. What a strike from Cedric Bakambu, top left corner. Keeper had no chance and we are leading 1-0 right now. Absolutely insane and we maybe could make it 2-0. Leroy Sané into Cedric Bakambu. Bakambu with the shot. It goes wide. How has Bakambu missed that? He would have made it 2-0 by now. But Bakambu unfortunately misses. Chance here for Real Madrid. Now Mayorel again through on goal. Mayorel with the shot. Asenho again with the save. I mean Mayorel has been good getting chances. But our keeper has been solid as well. Now another chance here maybe for us. A ball into Toliso. Now Toliso into Cedric Bakambu. Bakambu turns inside. Shoots and scores. Toliso with the assist. Cedric Bakambu with his second of the game in the 75th minute. We are leading 2-0 against Real Madrid in the Copa del Rey. We could be going into the next round, but a chance here for Real Madrid to score. Ball played into Sergio Ramos, who volleys it after chesting it down. What a volley, but it hits the post. We were very lucky there, because the away goal, if he would concede, it would be really bad for us. Chance here for Cristiano Ronaldo, who is now on the ball. Literally his first chance of this game. Turns the defender, takes the shot, and scores. So, Real Madrid do get the away goal, but still a 2-1 result at home. 
is pretty good against the likes of Real Madrid. Isco is now on the ball. Looks like we they could be making it 2-all. Isco with the shot. It hits the post. What's happening in this game? Well, defending has been terrible. Our fullbacks were just miserable in this game. I mean, Marin was decent, but Rukavina, it just shows that he needs to leave. And next season, we will be getting another right back because Rukavina was absolutely trash in that game. Anyways, that game is done now. In the second leg, hopefully, we will be able to win as well. A draw would be enough as well, but a win would be awesome. Now, let's have a look at the league table before we sim that game against 11th place Malaga. Things are looking good for us still, even though we did lose our last game. Third place in La Liga isn't all that bad. And now we'll be simming our game against Malaga. That is, of course, at home. And this is the team I'm going with. Pretty much my second team, just to keep my first team fit for the next game in the Europa League. And as you can see, unfortunately, we did draw. But to be honest, it's not that bad because Malaga are a decent side. Maybe if we would have, we would have played, we probably would have won. But I'm not sure about that as well because we did lose our last game in La Liga. Now we'll be playing Club de Bruges and I will be simming this game as well. I know a lot of you guys aren't going to be disappointed with me simming so many games. We do win this one. Two goals to nil thanks to Toliso's goals. Two goals from him which is fantastic. I know as I said a lot of you guys will be disappointed with me simming so many games. I have to do it guys. The series of support is dying and plus guys I need to progress a bit faster in this series so that we can at least get two seasons done with Villarreal. And anyways guys now it's time to play Atletico Madrid away from home and this is going to be a massive game because we've actually dropped out of the top four after that draw against Malaga so we kind of have to win this game. A draw would be enough to get us back in the top four but I really want to win this game but Campbell here on the ball who's been in decent form so far in this episode. So we get us now into Dennis Suarez and we get the perfect start in this game here. 1-0 to Villarreal after just three minutes. That is just fantastic for us. Another chance here maybe for us. Dennis Suarez is really bossing this game. Plays it wide to Iñaki Williams. He has the pace to take it wide. Iñaki Williams decides to cross it in. And I think it was Bruno with the shot. But John Oblak makes a fantastic save. Iñaki Williams then gets another chance to take the shot. But Oblak, that was pretty easy for him. And now a chance here for Koke. And Atletico Madrid, of course. Vieto goes through on goal. Vieto is now one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He slides and shoots and scores. In the 60th minute, Atletico Madrid make it 1-0 with Villarreal. A decent opportunity for Atletico and they do take it. And Atletico looking the better side after that goal. It's Luciano Vieto again on the ball. It's still Vieto. Yeah, Vieto with the shot. Asenho with a great save. 63 minutes. It is still 1-0. And that's how the game ends. Atletico were really good after scoring that goal. We were good at the start, but 1-0 was, I think, a fair result. And the best thing is, we are back in the top four. Hopefully, in the next couple of episodes, we will be able to get, you know, maybe, like, the top three. Because that gives us no, you know, qualification game to play, you know, the Champions League playoff. That would be nice if you could finish in the top three. Barcelona, Valencia and Real Madrid are occupying the first three spots. But we'll also be simming the second leg game against Club de Bruges in the Europa League. We do win it. Toliso again with the goal. I mean, Toliso has scored three goals in this tie against Bruges, which is fantastic. He also assisted Bakambu second against Real Madrid and now is one of the nominees for being player of the episode. I know earlier that I wouldn't I said that I wouldn't count the sim games for you know the player of the episode tag but now I think I will have to count them in because well we are going to be simming quite a few games from now on just to get this series to progress faster but yeah so we will be counting that and probably you know Tolisa will be player of the episode but we'll talk about that later we'll be facing West Ham in the next round of the Europa League that is going to be lit and hopefully we will be able to get through them as well and win the Europa League in the future but as I said guys Corentin Tolisso is our player of the episode three goals in the Europa League although those games were simmed but still scoring three goals is fantastic average rating of 7.7 .7. what I did is for the two goals he scored I gave him an average rating of 9 and for that one goal he scored in that game against them in the second leg of course I gave him an average rating of 8 and in the game he played he got an average rating of 7.3 and just averaged them all and we got 7.7 .7. anyways guys as you can see we'll be playing West time as I said in the next episode we'll try and get that whole month done in the next episode itself but hope you guys are enjoying this series I certainly enjoyed recording this episode it was quite fast paced for me so I really enjoyed recording it if you guys have drop a like on the video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys soon for another episode of the series